Okay. This is AZ versus Fahrenheit. Grand Finals, set two. Ryu versus Bowser. Okay, so starting on Smashville, which we haven't seen in Grand Finals yet, surprisingly. Okay. Nice bait. So, we've seen, like, Fahrenheit being kind of aggressive in the last set. So this is a good bait, just to bait out the dash grab. Fades back with it at the last second. I don't know if that could have been a Tatsu or not, but... And then, the thing is, like, Fahrenheit gets the exact same bait here. So he takes the damage, and then he runs back and pivot grabs, and it's like the same thing. Kind of funny. Okay, tries to contest the fire. So like, he definitely could have forwarded through that if he like timed it right, but just misses it. And I like these short hop backers. That's not something I've seen recently from him, so it's cool to see him using it. Nice, now we're extending with the backer after that. That was a, that was a good ledge trapping right there, actually. I like that. And good down tilts too. Nice. Trying to catch- I would have liked, um... I don't know what this, um, focus accomplishes really. Cause if he's gonna land with an aerial, it's probably gonna be down air which is gonna break focus. Or even an air which is gonna break focus. So, maybe just to like... I don't know, maybe- I, I just feel like you could have kept the juggle going with an up air or something. Like a fast fall up air. Nice. Okay. Good avoidance. Focus is like... I like focus as a landing option, but not when you're trying to absorb a hit. I like it better when you're just using it to fade away. Because... Yeah, nice tech. Ooh, if he turned around with that up tilt, Fahrenheit was definitely dead. Nice. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, once again, just like... Getting off of ledge more often than he should be. And yeah, that's not going to work. I don't know if that was like a missed Shoryuken or Shoryuken bait, but regardless, that's definitely a death against Bowser. And goes straight to the platform, I like that. Like, now that he has the lead, he I mean, he's been pretty passive this game so far. He's not being nearly as aggressive as he was when he beat the Sheik. Uh, but especially now that he has the lead, he can afford to be super non-committal. And hide on the platform, like that. I don't know, I feel like that double jump just sort of told me, like, oh, now he's getting down here. So, good on AZ for avoiding it. And I like the use of the heavy up tilt. That just kind of destroys it. And, sh nope, no shield break. Still no shield break, I know he wants it. Okay, that was a nice forward air. Mm. Doesn't go to the ledge, and dead? No. I just what ooh what <laughs> Hold on, let's look at this. I was gonna say Fahrenheit's been doing a really good job of staying alive because he's basically just shielding and letting AZ mess up. But here he <laughs> overextends. Look at how far away Shoryuken is from Bowser. But he hits like his pinky of the punch and kills him. That's dumb. Today I learned forward tilt is not completely disjointed. Nice. Yeah, once again, just like, covers one option with the ledge trap, and doesn't react to anything else. Nice forward air. That one was like, delayed. Ooh, nice shield break! What's he gonna do? Is he gonna go for forward or down air? Yeah. Ooh, but he gets a weak hit. That's unfortunate. It's hard on um, big characters, he told me. It's hard to get the sweet spot on big characters. But he gets a trump out of it. And yeah, once again. I don't know. Man, I, I just think the like one thing about your gameplay that could use like so much refining that would like just like let you like destroy this matchup is just working on like practicing ledge trapping. Because Bowser is bad off the ledge. Nice. Down air, uh, up B. So, let's see, why does he land this down air? What does Fahrenheit try to do? 
He gets off the ledge, gets back aired. And he kind of runs away, does this like weird dash thing. And then he tries to pivot, or he tries to dash grab, but I don't think he's watching exactly where AZ is. Because this is like a wise use of the double jump by AZ. Or, sorry, wise use of not double jumping. He just kind of fast falls. And then, yeah, short you. So, that's the first game. Pretty close. Like, really close. Definitely last hit. Um, yeah. So, going to the next game. I think it goes... To, okay, Town. Uh, I think either of, these, either of these players are happy with Town. Uh, or, if not happy, like, okay with it. Because it benefits both of them pretty much the same. And then, like... Yeah, just again, like... Predictable jump in with the forwarder. That's, like the Ryu combo starter, and one of them is going to have to bait something out. In this case, it's uh, Fahrenheit. He just dashes back and grabs. Ooh, and then that's like a bad air dodge. Nice. But he makes up the entire damage with like two hits. Nice. Okay, and then that was like a greedy overextension. Gets the nair, gets the up throw nair. Goes back to the platform. That's really smart. Uh, he's going to take some shield pressure, but he's not going to get juggled nearly as badly as he could have been. And then a good punish on the back air. Nice. Let's see, why does he get this up tilt? Let's look at it. So, doesn't hit that upper. Turns around. And then... Let's see. Actually, I wasn't looking at Fahrenheit. I was looking at AC. So, let's see how he got hit. He dashes away, and then, yeah, he wants a grab. So, so far, the, like, several stocks... So, yeah, if we're talking about habits, AZ, we already talked about, like, jumping in and committing with, like, a fading in with an aerial. And that's been getting him punished. But what's getting Fahrenheit punished, and what I see get punished with a lot, is just dash grabs, like, unwise dash grabs. Where he sees an opportunity, and it's, like, not quite confirmed, and he goes for the dash grab and just dies from it. Like, I feel like dash grab is... He uses pivot grab perfectly as a punish, but he doesn't use dash grab as a punish that much. He uses dash grab as like, oh, please let me grab you, but gonna give a kill either way. Nice. That was the start of like a good juggle, but he just barely misses it. Nice. And yeah, these like fire breaths have been getting stuffed out every time, either with a forward air or a heavy up tilt. So... Nice. Just outspacing him. You don't want to get let Ryu get too close to you. Oh, that was good. That was really good for shield pressure. Because if Fahrenheit stayed in shield, I think he would have gotten broken. Okay, nice forward air. And there? No. Nice returning to the stage. Doesn't want to, like, mess with Bowser off stage at all. And yep, good job. So, this is just a hasty landing. He's, uh... He's too hasty to get back to the ground, so he tries to throw out a hitbox, and he gets jabbed. Sure, you'd. Because if you're AZ, you don't have much reason to not shield his landings. It's not like he's going to auto-cancel something and then grab you. Um, and so far, he hasn't landed with side B yet. So it's pretty easy to just like run up and shield. And if he chooses not to land right in front of you, then cool, you reset neutral. So, uh, now it's 2-0. And I think this is the one game that Fahrenheit wins. So let's see what he changes up. And if I recall, it's kind of fast. Okay. Immediate. Yeah, so that, yeah, yep, that's the exact same. So every game has started with the same bait. Fahrenheit walks forward, he walks back, he dashes forward, he dashes back. And AZ tries to make the first move with a forward air, and he gets pivot grabbed. That's happened like three times now. So you can definitely tell Fahrenheit has his number on that opener. And he's going to get a quick combo, 63%. Nothing that can't be made up, but a good lead nonetheless. And nice, that was a good recognition 
of a uh, side view from the ledge and a good bait too. And so these focus baits have been pretty good. They've been so far this is the second time that Fahrenheit has been tricked into thinking he can go for a grab or a command grab and getting punished. So nice up air, it's safe. And this time he goes for a back air, but same effect. Fahrenheit just runs through him. Um, that's not really like a player thing. Ooh, that's a player thing. So yeah, no, this like isn't really necessarily like, oh, hard to read. This is just kind of what Bowsers do. It's like they run through you and they pivot grab you. But this is nice. Um, I don't know what the rhetoric behind um, air dodging here necessarily is because I don't think you would die to an up air, but I might be wrong. Either way, he dies to the up smash, so... Misses the punish on the fire breath, but ooh, yeah, that's so good. So he's doing that with Sheik. Woo! Okay, if he nared there, I wonder if it would lock. But like I was saying, he was doing that with Sheik so much, was baiting out um, up the out of shield, and I like seeing him do it with Ryu as well. So that's good. Using knowledge from the previous games, even though he's playing a different character. Once again, gets pivot grabbed. That's just the matchup. Uh, he's t he's taking so much damage landing once again just like landing with nair or landing with sorry landing with focus attack isn't gonna help you out here you might as well fast fall air dodge or use focus attack to reposition yourself but like he's not gonna up air you you know nice backer tries to go for it again but misspaces it nice dash attack ooh I feel like he wanted to perfect shield that because that was definitely a kill ooh. And then I remember AZ saying, like, oh, I thought I had a jump. But. Regardless, two stock for Fahrenheit. Um, he just got, like, a bunch of reads. And I feel like he carried his momentum really well that game. So, that was good stuff from him. Also, just didn't take huge punishes the way he was earlier. He was taking, like, some really hefty damage. But this time, not as bad. Nice. Yeah. Once again, punishes a fire breath. One of the few bad habits we've been seeing from Fahrenheit along with like ooh, nice ooh, oh my god I, I'm just gonna appreciate this real quick okay so he resets neutral and immediately gets coming off the platform he's like oh I know you're gonna try to come off this platform right now so he up airs, up airs again goes for a down air but he gets forwarded for it cause that's Fahrenheit's favorite thing he's like Oh, you think I'm gonna air dodge at near the ledge? <laughs> nope. Get, eat this forward air. But uh, he gets down air, up tilt, down air. Yeah. And once again, this time I don't think it's a dash grab. It's like a normal grab. But he just tries to grab a landing that's not there yet. And this is a really good uh, example of what I thought I saw earlier, which is the double jump bait. He just does a quick double jump to like bait out a grab. So really early stock from AZ. Fahrenheit has to think about it for a second. And now Fahrenheit, like, I don't know, like, you can, he, he, like, he's thinking of his game plan right here, and I'm like, oh, what's he gonna think of? And he says I'm gonna be aggressive. You can already see, he goes for a dash grab. Then he goes for a standing grab. And it's just not working. I think that against an aggressive player like AZ's Ryu, so being aggressive worked against his cheek, but being aggressive against the Ryu is not gonna work, because these characters ultimately have the same game plan, because neither of them really like to approach that much. So being aggressive, like, maybe it, it's since it's a change, it'll, like, help out a little bit. But I just don't buy it. Because being a defensive Bowser is what's been netting him these games. Okay, that's an air. Already hefty damage. Mm. And, like, he's getting, I think he's just, like, I think he's just anxious, I think, or nervous. He just wants to like land some really big moves, so he goes for stuff like back air that's gonna do a ton of percent. He goes for down tilt that's gonna do a ton of percent. He's caught landing with fire breath again. Nice up angled forward tilt. That's a such a good anti air. Oh my god, stop landing with fire breath, Noah. I know it's cool, but uh AZ's ready for it. Okay. That was Grand Finals set two. Congratulations to AZ for winning the tournament. I hope that 
this information can be used by both players, and thanks for listening to my perspective.